Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Uh, it's been a while. So, uh, super excited to have you guys here with me. I wanted to talk about, uh, well, first of all, I just wanted to say that we had a great you know, course launch, course closing. It was closing down, it was the OOP course. And we got tons of new students in our Python course, OOP course. I'll link it below so you can check it out. Uh, but at this point, you're watching the video, it probably is closed down. But you can register and be on the waiting list. And if there is an early bird discount, that could be yours as well. But what I wanted to talk about today was, um, so I don't know if some of you guys remember, but we had the 0.5% guy who just to quickly give you a reminder was this person who wanted me to work with him and like build this entire project and basically be 50, 50% partners at the very worst. Um, even though, you know, I'm really strong about your ideas are a lot, your, your execution is a lot more important than your, you know, your, your ideas because everybody has an idea. Everybody has the next million dollar idea, but it's the execution and the work ethic that people lack to then systematically and methodically pursue that idea and turn it into a reality, right? A physical manif manif manifestation. So that guy has striked again. He struck again. And uh, last time he told me he wanted me to do all of this stuff and he said that he would be very generous and give me 0.5% of that. And I thought, wow, what a guy, <laughs> you know? I do all the work and basically I get 0.5%. Makes total sense for me somehow. So I, you know, uh, didn't end up doing anything with him. But then he actually hit me up again and uh, in my... Uh, you know, he emailed me again and he's like, hey, how about we do, you know, I thought about it and you're right. Uh, how about we do 1% for you this time? So my price has gone up to 1%. And if this rate keeps up in the next 10 years or 20 years, I might be, I might be lucky enough to get 10% for doing all of the work. The takeaway for you guys is make sure that you're not having, make sure that you're putting in the work yourself, even if you have an idea. Again, this is something I get hit up with a lot, like, hey, I have this amazing idea, blah, blah, blah. And then there's like no action that's followed up with it. And no VC, venture capitalist, is gonna give you money unless your idea is at a point where it's actually generating revenue, right? Like, for example, my business, Clever Programmer, now, is at a point where I can actually talk to venture capitalists because we have a pretty solid business model and now it's turning it in, into like a more real thing. You know, it's not just a person. I'm not just making like random YouTube videos. My YouTube videos have gotten better. We have a business model in place. We have employees on the team and we actually apply to Lightspeed. So we're waiting to hear back from them. But essentially, if they accept us, they give us $20,000, $15,000 for one of the employees that I'll bring with me and uh, or a partner essentially and uh, so it's like 30, they, they'll give us $35,000 and they'll move us to California we'll, we'll, where we will have an office space and everything provided by them they'll give us the best mentors and everybody and Lightspeed was actually behind Snapchat so when Snapchat was a little baby and it was starting out they really accelerated them right these are called accelerators for a reason because they accelerate your progress it's actually where my mentorship, my personal coaching thing is inspired from. It's called Accelerator Mentorship. And the idea is you work one-on-one -on -one with me and I help you land your first job or your first consulting client or whatever, right? Um, so, you know, now it is at a point where we can make that pitch, but we have revenue to show. We have uh, customers to show. And we have, like, we have over 10,000 students enrolled in our program. Like, so it's been going awesome. And it's because of you guys. You guys are joining the program, checking out the website, right? If some of you guys don't know, cleverprogrammer.com, that's, you can get the Python courses that I'm working on. You can get, uh, mostly now it's like focused towards Python. And my goal is to get you guys to a point where 
you guys are able to create your own apps and then turn them into, uh, you know, put them on your resume. So uh, I teach you how to create desktop apps and then we go and make web applications with Python. And then I immediately start teaching you how you can actually use it to get consulting work, freelancing work, or improve your negotiation skills, soft skills, so then you can land that job with the specific Python skills that you got. You know, I don't want it to be like, here, let me just teach you a bunch of stuff and overload you with information, and then you figure out what to do with it. I want it to be so you can actually use it to actually start getting work. But again, now we have a solid MVP with actual results, Technically, the thing, a lot of the things are done, business model, like it's still in its infant stages, but some of the groundwork is laid down. So now when I go and pitch it to somebody, they can see revenue, they can see customers, they can see certain results, certain growth. They are willing to invest in it. Um, but let's say I had no idea, or not, uh, I hadn't done any work and I just had an idea, nobody cares, right? You could have the greatest idea in the world, but nobody would care. So. Uh, a lot of you guys, that's actually one of the reasons why I learned, wanted to learn programming so I could have the technical skills to build a real business because I couldn't hire, outsource it to anybody. I didn't have the money. And so I built those skills so I could build a business and at least get it to a point where I could hire developers and I could hire people. You know, right now, I could do most of the development myself, but that's not where my time is best used. So I have developers on the team who actually help out as well. But up until now, you know, there have been a lot of programming work involved, lots of technical things that I would have never in a million years been able to do without having, you know, technical knowledge and programming knowledge, right? Um, so for you guys, you have a business idea or whatever, that's epic. But just please focus on building a real thing. Get the technical skills you need to get that idea going and turn into a real thing and then hit up somebody who it, you know you want help from uh, or you know then hit up a venture capitalist they'll be much more likely to uh, listen and always be thinking what's in it for the other person like I get these emails that are like hey uh, do you want to collab uh, it's in my literally the email says do you want to collaborate because I think it's in my best interest to collaborate with you because you have a big audience do you know what I did? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't even reply because like that person hasn't even taken a second to think about what I would want, what would be my incentive to collaborate with that person. Whereas, you know, when I'm making this channel, there's not a single time where I'm thinking about myself. I'm thinking about what would you guys need? What could I do that would help solve your problem? That's like the only reason this channel is growing and is getting people like you watching and getting value out of it because I'm never putting myself first. If I was, nobody would care and you wouldn't care. But now that you know me, you know, maybe you care about certain things and that's what happens. When you build a relationship and you offer something of value to another person, then you have that power to make the ask to make the relationship, right? Whether it's an ask for a sale, whether it's an ask for their business, or you know uh, your client's business or your employee you know job or maybe it's just you know you guys becoming friends and having a great long-term rel relationship but you get that right or even the uh, right you know being able to help somebody else the right to ask for help that happens when you give a certain amount of value first right so value first then other things later okay so how can you use this in an actionable way Take a look at your current resumes, right? I sent out an email about this actually today. Take a look at your current resumes and just read how much of it is about yourself versus how much of it is about like the person who's trying to hire you, right? Think about how you can offer them value first before making that, uh, you know, essentially that ask or talking about how great you are. Like for example, I'll see things like intuitive Intuitive understanding of economics and finances. Um, you know, there's so many, like, there's so much jargon that people use, but why don't you say something like, I have an understanding of supply and demand, and I can apply it to your business because your business is about digital products, and I can help you price your product better than. Whew, 
almost fell and died in the water guys that would have not been good but yeah you could have been like the price of the product I can help you with that and by doing you know analytics on your website and based on the traffic you're getting and your current conversion rate I could help you boost your conversions or your opt-ins or your traffic which would essentially boost your revenue so if you boost your revenue five times is it okay if you pay me one time the money of that and hire me and if somebody were to come up and give me that pitch I'd be like yes <laughs> that's a no-brainer so think of it like that when you're trying to apply for a job think of value first if you can give them a good reason don't let them connect the dots right don't leave it up to your employer to connect the dots of how they're gonna use your skill sell yourself tell them what how your skills are relevant to them and when you do that you make a mark all right with that I'm gonna be signing off thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for being here we're about to hit 30,000 subscribers I love your faces off this is Kazi and as always I'll see you in the next video